this kind of lock. So lex R forty. Looks like a disk detainer disk detainer lock. Let's try to pick and got this. this kind of simply front tensioning pick <coughs> and uh, check out the discs uh. okay first was still moving a bit right second also third also <laughs> strange four not if not strange, then there's free space in the end. Let's start from the last one. Let's be there. Next. Let's be there. Next. Last one feels like a gate. No. Front tensioner. It moved also, maybe it was a good sign. Do you see anything? This is first. Feels like at the gate. Second. Third. Fourth. And fifth. It all feels like they are at the gate. But the lock is not opening. Let's try the tension from the G lock. the lock open it. Maybe this first was not at the gate. So open it like this. Then let's got it. <sighs> See what's inside the lock. Mm. 
Actually, this first should be at the gate. Why I had to tension from the zero, but I don't know. But now here you see that these three ones are not fully turned because this is wider than these ones. But it should be at the Rogate, I don't know. Okay, sidebar dropped here, very small. First disk, small profile there. Spacer. Second disk, is there false gate? Maybe that is false gate, yeah. Spacer, third disk, yes, there is false gate. Fourth, false gate also there. Spacer, which side this was? Maybe I accidentally turn it around. Is there still something? Spacer behind the last disk. Okay. And then empty here. So if I would try to use real tensioner, it would just go to this empty space. So either front tensioning or from the random zero cut disk. Yes, nice small lock. And the used pick is like this. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.